Football again from Rovers. Morrissey. Closely watched by Wright. Releases a good ball for Thomas. Crosses it in. Yo! Well, I did say that Ian Yo and John Aldridge are looking starved for the action tonight. And the move kicked off by Harvey's back heel, releasing Hughes, who found Morrissey, who jinxed his way through. And Thomas Cross found Ian Muir. Push everybody up except Dave Higgins. That's a good kick again from Harvey. The carrot. Yo! Oh, what a goal! Ian Yo! The carrot's header found the right boot of Ian Yo. It's an excellent free kick from Jimmy Harvey. But Ian Yo was left on mark. And it's 2 1. It's turning into quite a game here tonight at Brenton Park. So far at the back for Rovers. Brannan has no problem clearing that corner. Now then, trying to set Irons away. Harper is there. Again, just gets the ball clear, but a great roar of expectancy now as Nevin gets into the penalty area. Is this the opener? Yes! In your it is. Gets the opening goal for Tramia Rovers. And just as I said, the roar of expectancy when Pat Nevin got the ball. That for fruition. Great ball in from Nevin. And there was Muir at the far post to steer the ball home again. And you can hear what the crowd said to think of that. Flynn. The challenge again by Steve Vickers. Harvey to Hughes. Now Morrissey. Steele. And it's Preston who are coming away with Thompson. Again, a good challenge by Mark Hughes. And the referee playing another good advantage despite the challenge by the number seven. On Rovers, Mark Hughes. Mungal. Harvey takes over, looks for some support, as yet hasn't got it. No one moving for him at the moment, has come square to Mark Hughes. Man to man is very tight, Hughes. Now Muir's got that bit of space and a shot on goal. And it's in by Ian Muir. It seems to take an eternity. But Rovers have broken the deadlock. With 31 minutes gone on the watch, Ian Muir is Tramia's goal scorer. He managed to find that bit of space. Harvey was looking for someone to move. It was Mark Hughes who helped the attack. Hughes found Ian Muir, and Muir's shot was parried by Farmworth. Tony Thomas is upended, and it's a penalty to Tramia Rovers. Ian Muir makes it 3-0. It was a beautiful ball by Jimmy Harvey. 
looking to release Tony Thomas. It looked like he was going to get there, but Lee Ashcroft upended the Tramway number 11, and Ian Muir makes it 3 0. Pat White is dispossessed by Irons. He's got Muir, and now Steele as Rovers look for the four. Steele inside to Muir. Yes! That's his hat trick. That was an absolute beaut. It looked like he had all the time in the world. He made it look so easy. Right under the eyes of Keith Hackett. It's a free kick to Rovers. It's Neil McNabb or Jimmy Harvey will take. Harvey was looking for a short one there. Now it's with Dave Higgins. Hoisted high, Steele's flick on, and there's Muir! 2-1. The combination works again. The free kick from Harvey, the knock on by Jim Steele, and there's Ian Muir to score another important goal for Tramia Rovers. Yeah. With the throw. Here's Hughes, intelligent player. Looking there for Steele and Malkin. And here's Muir. Hits it well and the goal. Glorious strike by Ian Muir. That's the confidence that scoring 34 goals gives you. And didn't he put that one away superbly then? Half a smile no more from Johnny King. A long, long way to go yet. But that's a great start for Tranmere Rovers. I think this epitomises uh, Ian Muir. Little ball bowling about, doesn't take any time. He's got very, very good feet, one touch. Keeper may be a bit disappointed he didn't quite make on that one, but uh, an excellent finish from Lee Tramier Striker. Malkin did well to knock it back into the path of Ian Muir. And that was sweetly tucked away past Brian Barkin. Very sharp finishing. Full of confidence, please. 34 goals something under his belt. Doesn't worry about those when they come out of the air, he just hits them. Stoke come out for the offside, it's not been given, Muir lobs it over the keeper, oh and he scored! And Rovers possibly still the three points here at the Victoria Ground this afternoon. Stoke one, Tramia two. Next it was from the League to the League Cup. From the Barclays League to the Littlewoods Cup to be precise. Stockport were the opponents in the first round, with Rovers travelling to Edgeley Park for the first leg. Ian Muir was to finish the leading goal scorer. This was his first, courtesy of Johnny Morrissey. Ian Muir with a little help from his friends. And if you think he was pleased with that goal, well, you've seen nothing yet. The return leg was sandwiched between another goalless draw in the league, at home to Colchester United. Three games so far and no goals conceded. But that was to change when Stockport managed to breach the Rovers' defence. But poor County should have learned from the first leg. Super skills here by Johnny Morrissey. But then, who wants the ball? And how about this for a real goal scorer's goal? See what I mean about being pleased. So, safe passage to round two. Well, only six as it happens. You're about to see number one. That was after 14 minutes, but it still didn't provide Rovers' first win in the league. In fact, just the opposite. Cambridge scored twice from Eric Nixon's kick. And although he doesn't find the Rovers player this time, Hartlepool can't hang on to the ball for long. Mark McCarrick comes forward, plays a 1-2 with Steele, looks for the return, but there's Ian Muir to lob the ball into the goal. Now, Johnny Morrissey and Ian Muir have something of a mutual admiration society. Loved your goal, Ian. Thanks very much indeed, John. Next, it was back to Prenton Park and Lincoln City, newly promoted from the Vauxhall Conference. Tranmere break down the left-hand side, and Bishop does well, making progress down the flank. Then he cuts inside, the referee allows a good advantage. Steele turns, and Muir provides the finishing shot. 
a beautiful ground drive. And that was the only goal of the game, with 15 minutes remaining. A victory which pushes Rovers into sixth position. The long trip to Torquay produced goals for Muir and Steele, but no points. Standing up, it meant that over 16,000 had been through the turnstiles in a week. Jimmy Harvey was playing against his former club, and needless to say, he was involved in the build-up. This time, a rare one, the move coming from the left-hand side of the field. A lovely bit of marksmanship by Ian Muir. There was no celebration at Crewe, though, despite an Eddie Bishop goal. Tranmere lost 2-1. One. Corners, one a shot and one a header. And Ian Muir is on for his hat-trick. So what next? Preston try to clear. But Steve Mungall wins the ball for Johnny Morrissey on the right-hand side. A lovely one-two, and Morrissey with the chance to go towards the line. Now how about this for some butterfingers by the goalkeeper? And Ian Muir with the confidence and the ability to make absolutely certain. Rovers are through to the second round of the FA Cup.